Hello, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. For the next couple of tips, we will be following up on last Tuesday's tip on what's new with React. Well, it's official. The 14-day inspection notice will become official on March the 20th, 2019. That means that REACT only has to give you a 14-day notice in order to do the REACT inspection. The goal is to achieve a more accurate picture of how the property is being maintained year-round. Thanks to those of you who emailed me last week following last week's Tuesday tip session and had questions. I heard you saying things like, you don't think that this is enough preparation time, or the logistics alone would be a nightmare and a problem for properties who had staffing problems. Or someone else even said, resident cooperation would be the key to 14 days, the possibility of a regional manager having inspections back to back in different regions and different states. You're correct, all of these are issues that we will have to overcome because effective March the 20th, 2019, you only get a 14 day notice. As I stated last week, there's some positivity in it though one thing is that the protocol may help improve the physical standard of living for the residents. Another thing, hopefully, for some of the owner agents who don't do year-around maintenance, they will be able to start a regimen of year-round maintenance practices. Most of you do year-round maintenance, but you would be surprised at how many don't, and they won't make repairs until the resident calls in with a complaint. Therefore, those of you who stay on top of the physical conditions of your property, you're doing a great job. We appreciate it. Uh, it shouldn't be so alarming to you, the 14-day notice, as much as it will be to the others where maintenance is deferred and they receive the call from REACT to schedule an inspection. Last week, we shared some pictures that we have received and some of you called in and wanted to know if these were really pictures of residence units. Yes, they were taken from the first of the year. They were actual and factual photographs of units being, units needing repair, and where management <clears throat> had not made any repairs. And I assure you that they were real pictures. Now don't misunderstand me. I have been a property manager, a regional manager, and a REACT inspector. I know that residents can play a part in the physical components of the unit and don't or won't report needed repairs for whatever reason until the 11th hour. However, a good manager that has a good maintenance team knows their residents and which ones need that special attention when it comes to the physical conditions of the property. Managers' roles and maintenance roles we'll discuss in the weeks to come. Someone sent in an email and asked a good question, however. Last week, they asked, if you cancel or refuse the 14-day scheduled REACT, what happens? Well, here's the answer. If the property cannot or will not do the inspection and cancels, the property will receive a score of zero. The property will have one additional chance to reschedule the inspection within a seven-day period or the zero will stand. From then, it's sent to enforcement. For now, I want to share a little more about the second important item from HUD REACT, which is a little more long term. While a significant majority of HUD and HUD assisted properties are safe and in quality condition, HUD feels a new inspection model is needed to expediently address properties that are not. 
It's REACT's intention to completely revamp the UPCS inspection by the end of 2021. This fall, REACT will start a two-year demonstration program in HUD Region 3 for multifamily and public housing inspections. Region 3 will be the Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, DC, and Virginia area, with the exception of West Virginia. As HUD continues its internal review of the inspection protocols, the department is exploring immediate improvements and refinements with the goal to design a new simplified inspection system, more focused on the physical conditions within the housing units and to place a greater emphasis on lead-based paint and hazards like mold. I would encourage you to read HUD Notice H-2018-08, which we will discuss in our next Tuesday tip. We'll also post it on our website. Thanks for taking the time today, and we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.